Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about Nozzy 2D NMR with a real example. So what is Nozzy? So Nozzy is a nuclear overhauser effect spectroscopy, is a two-dimensional nuclear magnetic resonance technique used to investigate spatial proximity between nuclear spin in a molecule. And it measures the uh, measures measures the interaction uh, between the two nuclei which are in a close proximity in a space and this interaction uh, occurs through the space and it typically within five angstrom regardless of the bond connectivity and uh, when you see the interactions there will be a cross peaks formation in 2d spectrum which indicates the interactions between nearby protons why it is important because in other nmr uh, methods like cosi and hsqc you can't see the spatial interactions and uh, those are usually through uh, uh, those are basically through covalent connectivity but nozzy reveals non-bonded spatial proximate interactions therefore it is useful for large complex molecules or systems in which covalent connectivity alone does not provide a full picture of the spatial structure and today we are going to see how nozzy is very important to uh, uh, for structure elucidation of a molecule this is a example of suzuki reaction and you can see that it can take place at this chloro uh, or this chloro also uh, after the suzuki reaction only one product was isolated in a quantitative yield theoretically we can say that this is the major product and this is mm, the minor or negligible but still we have to confirm uh, the isolated product whether it is a or b but this cannot be confirmed just by looking the 1h nmr if you see there are three signals and uh, these multiplets belongs to the protons of this phenyl ring and this singlet is from hydrogen of this uh, heterocyclic ring and if you see these molecules uh, whether it is a or b you will have the same pattern of the NMR so 1H NMR is not enough to distinguish between these two molecules let's see the cozy NMR if you see the cozy NMR so cozy NMR is useful for uh, checking the visinal interaction so there are two visinal protons HA and HB and you can see easily that this multiplate proton is interacting with uh, this proton uh, this one so therefore there is a formation of a rectangle if you connect this uh, peaks you will see the formation of a rectangle and this is because of the interaction between hydrogen a and b but hydrogen c is not interacting with anyone because the difference between uh, there is one two three four five bonds and five bonds interaction is impossible to see in cozy nmr three bond interaction is very easy to see in cozy nmr and four bond also is possible but five bond is impossible to see therefore it is hard to distinguish uh, between a and b just based on the cozy nmr now let's move to the nozzy nmr if you see the uh, the uh, these protons are close to each other so if your compound is a then you must see the interaction between hydrogen C and hydrogen B. If your compound is B, then you will not see any interaction between this phenyl ring and this heterocyclic ring. Now let's see this is the cozy NMR, no sorry, nozzy NMR. And you can see that this singlet proton is interacting with this uh, multiplate, right? And you can see the uh this uh, i will show you the zoom part of this now you can see very easily this proton is interacting with this singlet therefore therefore we can say that the our isolated product was a not b and this is the best example to understand the importance of nozzy nmr and to understand how to solve the nozzy nmr thank you very much for watching this video